All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. Evening, shall we say, in the end times in paradise, in the green mountains of Vermont. It is Saturday evening, July 14th, 2018, and uh, this is your old depressed collapsitarian doomsday tourist taking stock of his life. Here is my life. The back of this gas sucking truck. Here is here is Hambone's life. And this is my life. Somehow this came out of the back of this pickup truck. And uh, somehow we are going to sit here and pack this pickup truck. Now, of course, the hilarious joke about all this, of course, is the reason I pulled all of this shit out of my truck was so I could go to Canada uh, for a few days and not look like I was living out of my truck. So, of course, as you probably know by now, I was refused entry into Canada because they thought I was living out of my truck, which is exactly what I'm doing or have been doing. And guys, I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I'm a 58-year-old white man who should be selling real estate for Keller Williams Real Estate in Austin, Texas, living in a beautiful uh, four-bedroom, three-bath home on the green belt in South Austin, Texas, getting ready to uh, meet up with some uh, good-looking woman in South Austin, Texas, heading out to a picking party or a concert or whatever is going on in Austin, Texas. And here I sit trying to comb through the fucking wreckage of my life. This is my fucking life. When was the last time I did this rant? I think it was in Cedar Key. It was in Cedar Key, uh, Florida. Six months ago, pretty much exactly six months ago, I was doing this same rant in Cedar Key, Florida, packing my goddamn truck. Oh yeah, that was when I made the infamous used up old pussy line complaining about, uh, how I had lost my my uh, used up old pussy. Well, let me tell you how much used up old pussy or any other kind of pussy I have seen in the in the year 2018. Oh yeah, let me tell you at this point where Hambone's sex life <sighs> lines up on his list of things to do. Jesus fucking Christ. This is my fucking life. This is what I have to show. Five years of fucking college. My 148 IQ. My real estate licenses in three states. You better go get that chippy. Because it's your last chippy. Because we're out of here tomorrow. So let me start figuring out how to put an 18 wheelers worth of fucking junk that I, that would be rejected at a fucking free box at a, in a Salvation Army store it would be re rejected if I took if I took one piece of this fucking shit to Salvation Army with the possible exception of my one hundred and fifty two dollar. Uh, cooler I bought at Bucky's, they would laugh at me. This shit would go straight to the goddamn garbage pile, which is where every bit of this shit belongs. This is probably where I got this shit, was out of fucking garbage how many years ago. Uh, imagine if I had, imagine if I had been at the Canada border with this. This is uh, 
this is my mattress that I've been uh, sleeping on for the past three years. This came out of a, uh, right before I hauled my friend's beat up, moldy old uh, trailer to the fucking dump in Austin. I pulled this mattress out. And this is uh, what I've been sleeping on. Ugh, fuck. You know, guys, I'm sick and fucking tired of this shit. You know, I'm a fucking 58 year old white man. You know, no wonder uh, those fucking jack booted Nazis and, uh, said, you know, brother, let's see what you're offering to the citizens of. Uh, this is. My dining table. It took me two years to manifest this dining table that I got out of, uh, that I finally found in the middle of an old logging road in the High Sierras. Oh, fuck. Unfucking believable. The, the wreck I have made out of my goddamn life. You know, I, I have got to fucking get out of this goddamn hellhole called the Doomosphere. How the fuck am I ever going to take the blue pill again? This is what the fucking red pill does to you people. This is what happens to you when you walk away from empire. When you walk away from a fucking hundred thousand dollar a year job, a beautiful home, three hundred friends, uh, some pussy every now and then, this is this is it. This is your fucking life. You know, no idea why I'm doing this fucking shit with my life anymore. What the fuck am I thinking? Jesus fucking Christ. I have I have no fucking idea what state I'm going to be living in uh, a week from now. All your all your best laid plans, Hambone. How, how just on the fucking turn of a dime, how your entire life uh, can change when you, when you get a goddamn wake-up call from the universe and that you're doing something seriously fucking wrong in your goddamn life. And, uh, you know, that is exactly what that goddamn disaster in Canada was all about. It was a fucking wake-up call. Oh, fuck. I don't even know where my other, where is my other tarp? My, my big tarp that I had on the canoe trip. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, life. You know, uh, Brother Max, just kind of as a, my old buddy from Finland sent me this, this video from me from 2011. 2011, I was, I was heading off to, uh, to Ecuador pretty much seven years ago, right about this week, I was heading back down to Ecuador and I was saying in that video, I have no idea what country I'm going to be in a month from now. Well, I think the Canadian border guards are expecting me. Let me know what fucking country I'm going to be in. I'm going to be in the shithole country of the United States of America. Oh. Of course, I have no fucking idea which shithole state I'm going to be in. That remains to be seen. I have no 
fucking idea what state I am going to be in. Uh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this fucking shit. Uh, oh, here's my other part. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I have completely lost my fucking mind. All I want to do, I, 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 I have one hope. I, you know, it's the same fucking pipe dream I've had for eight years. I simply want to fucking lie down tonight in, in a nice, comfortable bed, roll over, go to sleep, and just never wake the fuck up. Face this fucking bullshit. This, this, this complete fucking destruction I have manifested out of my goddamn life. Jesus. say is I'm glad my mom is dead so she doesn't have to see what has happened to her baby boy. Yep mom there's five years in five years in college have done me a fuck of a lot of good. Five fucking years in college so I could manifest this. If, if there is anybody, anybody watching this video right now who is sitting there w w with a goddamn living in a, in a nice home, uh, making some good money, you know, going to bed tonight in a comfortable bed with a fucking secure roof over your head, maybe a decent internet connection, uh, may, maybe someone beside you. Uh, in bed tonight, and, and you're fucking thinking on, on any fucking level about taking the red pill, the jagged little pill. I, I, I want to offer myself up as, as an example of somebody who let go of the bank to see which way the universe was, you know, letting go of the bank and f going with the flow of the universe, uh, which was a pretty nice flow up until three days ago. It is unbelievable how in the space of one fucking hour you make one fucking wrong turn and, and, and how your entire life just goes to shit. Just right through your fingers, crumbling through your fingers. You know, uh, fuck. I'm done with this shit. I'm, I'm fucking done with living this way. I need to turn my fucking ass around, stick my tail between my legs, go back to goddamn Austin, Texas, and, and throw in the fucking towel on this. Put the goddamn yoke around my neck, go back, get a fucking job. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, this is freedom. 
And this is cutting your cutting your chains to your slave masters. This is what freedom on the on the wide open road looks like in the fucking end times. Fucking sucks. Oh, fuck. All right. What do we got next? Oh. Jesus. Fucking stinking ass. I mean, one of these goddamn things. Smells like Sancho Panza's fucking anal glands. Are you are you watching this, guys? Are you fucking watching it? This is your old fictional character. Hambone Little Tail, Doomsday Prophet. This is the old fictional character. This is my fucking fictional life. Wish this was a fucking fictional life. Yeah, this is a fucking performance artist. Are you enjoying this performance from that fictional character? Hambone little tail. Oh, fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. This is my goddamn future, I guess. I mean, this is it. Oh, God. All right. So what I need is a, an electric fan. Oh. Are you enjoying my performance? I hope I'm entertaining you guys. Oh, fuck. Gee, I wonder why the Canadian border guards don't want me coming in their country. I wonder why I have not had sex in the year 2018. Can't imagine why with all of this that I have to offer any Doomer chick out there? All you Doomer chicks, come get me. Come get me, you Doomer chicks. I'm right here. All right, we're going to see if we can put the Hambone wardrobe back in the... I think all of this shit came out of... I do have some new socks. I am proud to say that uh, for the first time in probably three years, Hambone has three pairs of brand new socks from the Costco in Burlington, Vermont. Costco comes through again for Hambone. What would I do without Costco? Oh yes, we cannot forget the, the Humpty Dumpty tribe the Humpty Dumpty Tribe wardrobe. Yes, here is uh, anyone who 
joins Humpty Dumpty tribe and follows their fearless leader into the end times. This is what you get. Fuck. You know. I need to do some serious fucking soul searching, guys. Some serious soul searching. Virtually every one of these pieces of clothing, virtually every single one of them, were hand-me-downs from my buddies who felt sorry for me. You know, my buddies with less college than me. <sighs> taking pity, taking pity on their mentally disturbed doomsday profit friend. Yes. Oh. This is one hell of a way to spend a Saturday night. It is a Saturday night in Vermont. I think there's some big ass bluegrass festival cranking up down the street. Everyone's out partying at the Bluegrass Festival. Wow. Hambone is packing his truck for his next adventure. So where I'm heading tomorrow is to go uh, hang out in Woodstock, New York with uh, my, my boss, or should I say former boss, although she does not know it yet, at the... Uh, at the Austin Optimus Club Christmas tree lot where I don't ever intend to set foot again. It was one year ago that I was heading to uh, the great state of Washington to go on a Bigfoot hunt. This is what I got for that trouble. There you go. Believe. Believe. Just hold that belief, guys. Just believe in the universe taking care of yourself. Turn your life over to spirit. Yes. Turn your life over to spirit. And see how much spirit gives a flying fuck about you. The universe does not give a fuck. Anybody who thinks the fucking universe or God or Jesus gives a flying fuck. Got some bad news, guys. The joke is on you. The universe could give a fuck about you. You know, the life I was leading nine years ago, I would say about, probably about 90% of this planet would have traded the life that I walked away from. And I walked away from nine and a half years ago to turn my life over to spirit. I think I was heading I think I was heading to the uh, 
Peruvian Amazon jungle was the plan then. I was heading off to the Peruvian Amazon jungle where I was going to go down there to the Amazon jungle and, and get me a little piece on the east side of the Andes Mountains and start my little eco village down there. All I had to do was go down there and build it and they would come. And, uh, the Sancho Panza fan club. I think Sancho Panza wants to stay right here at his auntie's house in Vermont. Sancho Panza is nowhere to be seen while I'm doing this. Yeah, so it was nine and a half years ago. Heading to the Amazon jungle to live out the end times. Oh yeah. D D T D. And you wonder why my sidekick is named Sancho Panza. That would make me Don Quixote, the fool. The greatest fool in literary history. The fictional character Don Quixote traveling through life with his companion Sancho Panza tilting at windmills. You know, Cervantes fully understanding 500 years ago. 500 years ago, Miguel Cervantes pointing out the way we were going that this planet was fucked. 250 years before the Industrial Revolution, Miguel Cervantes saying, you guys might want to rethink the trajectory you are on. And of course, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people who met Don Quixote and his little sidekick, Sancho Panza, were laughing hysterically at the goddamn fool tilting at his windmills. Don Quixote talking, confusing wind power with something evil. Yep, 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 yep. I really don't know how Cervantes died. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about what happened to Cervantes after, uh, after he, uh, published that. Oh, God. Okay, is it time for the plastic tubs? I would like to thank my, my buddy James Howard Kunstler. James Howard Kunstler giving me this fine looking pan. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Brother Jim. Maybe I'll uh, do another Doomsday Sermon with... Uh... Oh, here we go. How about the Northeastern States and the Eastern Provinces of Canada? This was my map that was going to guide me through the Provinces of Canada. Okay, let's start getting the... Oh, Jesus. No trip would be complete without the... without the stars and stripes. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The stars and straps. 
Oh, fuck. Well, I guess I'll just keep cramming shit in here. Oh, God. Here comes my next hernia. Are you talking to yourself or to somebody? I'm talking to myself like I always do. Oh. What, is dinner ready? Yeah, I was just going to say, if you're close enough to ready, if you want to eat dinner and finish up? Uh, well, I'm just about finished up talking to myself, and uh, I got about eight or nine minutes. Okay. I'd just as soon get this shit out of the way so I can start yeah, yeah, drinking yeah. margaritas. Yeah, yeah, finish. There you go. Not a problem. Yeah, if I start drinking now, I will never finish this job. Uh, that was my dear sweet sister cooking me dinner. What would I do without my dear sweet sister cooking me dinner? I do have one woman. There's one woman on this planet who still loves me. That is my sister. What would, where would I be without my dear sweet sister still loving me? Oh boy. My sister fully understands I am completely mentally deranged. What are you going to do when your kid brother belongs in a fucking mental institution? There's only so much you can do. Alright. Is this motherfucker going to fit up here or not? Imagine if I had driven up to the Canadian border with this. Come get me. You know where to find me. This prize catch. This box. This prize catch is available. Come and get me. Progress. 
they said it could not be done. They underestimate. They underestimate the power of the Doomsday Fool. All right. Get my my one hundred and fifty-two dollar ice chest from Bucky's. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You must have some rubber boots to wade through the bullshit in my life. Oh, fuck. Getting close. God damn it! Motherfucker! You fucking son of a bitch. Another five gallon plastic bucket. Jesus fucking Christ. Get some water for the end times. And there you have it. You thought it could not be done. How dare you. How dare you underestimate the power of a doomsday desperado. <sighs> And there you go, 37 minutes. That is my life in 37 minutes. And with that, I am gonna go have about three very strong margaritas. And say goodbye to that shit, off to Woodstock, New York tomorrow to meet up with my friend from the Optimist Club. Bye guys.